Hollywood, California, Meltdown Comics, Harmontown is now in session. Please welcome to the stage the mayor of Harmontown, Mr. Dan Harmon. Thank you very much. Uh, bad show tonight, bad show. Just not feeling it. Yesterday was Valentine's Day. I'm not, I, uh, I'm not at liberty to say whether or not I use recreational drugs, but if they're in a hypothetical universe where there was one that facilitated intimate uh, uh, coupling. Maybe some sort of like, uh, like ecstatic sensations. Yeah. <laughs> Something that would have been prescribed to couples uh, before it was uh, illegalized, like back in the 80s, I think. Like I would, I would have probably taken that yesterday, and I would be having a serotonin depletion right now <laughs> with just pleasant memories of seeing Wicked at the Pantages. You went? Mm -hmm. How was it? It was good. Are you, are you a big musical theater guy? Do you enjoy I like, it? I like a good musical. Yeah. I mean, I don't like a bad one. No one does. <laughs> I don't know what that makes me. Uh, regular old musical consumer. I used to go, yeah, when I was a kid, we went to every play at the Pantages there. It's a very, um, very fond childhood kind of memory for me. It's about a, a witch. <laughs> <laughs> Is she the protagonist of the, uh, of, the, of the tale? Yeah, even though she's a witch. <laughs> a little, do a little reversal Were there. You were you theoretically on this ex uh, ec ecstatic uh, sort of possible th uh, thing during the show? Oh, or? yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's great. <laughs> I, d I don't know why. I mean, that was I, uh, I'm especially not allowed to talk about my, the possibility of my wife uh, going near this stuff. Uh, but uh, I, if, if, if she had, I, I would have said to her, do you really w want to do that during this? <sighs> and she would have said yes, and, but she, we didn't. <laughs> But if I had, then I would have been sitting there with my eyeballs kind of going. Blah, 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 like, well, this Do you think that would was... possibly have enhanced your wicked viewing uh, pleasure, or did it was it distracting? Hypothetically, it's a, it's it's a synthetic drug. I think you kind of when you're if you if you if you take mushrooms or acid, not that I ever have, but if you it, it, those those change your experience, like your your perception of things. I think that you know my experience with the ecstasy family of Drugs. Mm -hmm. It's a very small family. <laughs> uh, I, think it's, I think it's just th that guy and Molly, his friend Molly, right? <laughs> um, it just kind of, you know, it kind of puts you in a certain mood, but everything that's happening around you, you know, you, you're, you're not, you're emotionally receiving it differently, but you're not, like, yeah. you know, experiencing anything other than, than what's actually happening. So I guess I was kind of like, this musical puts me in a great mood. <laughs> Which may not be true, but I don't know. Maybe it was bad. I don't know. It seemed good to me. She was green. She flew. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 don't, don't, don't let this guy, like, tell you whether or not I had a good time yesterday. It'll sound terrible. I'm, this is what happens. This is the price you pay for your disco drugs. All, the, all those highs you kids are on. They have lows. Yeah, I'm, I'm rotten as a fucking chop today, man. I, I, I apparently drank 100,000 drinks in, in uh, Anacortes, Washington yesterday. I was telling Dan backstage, I was on a plane, and I had to go into the laboratory just to get it together. Like, I just sat in there like... <sighs> it was really nice in there, too. I was like, I can't be around human beings right now. It was very... I'm like... That's called delirium tremens, I believe is the word. It's not good. Yeah. Well, uh, good, good news is I guess I'm bored with the black people now. <laughs> I, th I think we, I, I think we kind of... You got that out of your system? Yeah. We, we, we really double-dipped last time, too. Yeah, well, I, I didn't mean for that to happen, but <laughs> I was kind of... I, I wanted anybody that did come just for the asking to be rewarded for it, for sure. I don't know if either of those two guys, Brian and Max, if they actually... It sounded like they had, there was a coincidence that they were here. Because there were other people tweeting me going, I'm going to come to the show because I'm black and you asked for it. And I thought, if they do that, then that's very sacrificial of them. They should be given a reward of some kind. Uh, the spotlight, for instance. But uh, the having their race acknowledged and having them be dehumanized uh, through it. Uh, Anatolia, are you having a weird psychotic episode over here? What's going on? Uh, 
Well, he's got a. Can we get a camera on this guy? <laughs> what, what is happening? In, in Atoli, do you want to? I mean, you kind of have to. Normally, we ask if you want to, but if you're going to sit in the front row and do that, you have to <laughs> show people what you're doing. At least stand up and face the audience and give them what, what I'm getting here. This is very horrifying. <laughs> Completely nightmare-inducing. Oh boy! Oh no! All right, careful! Oh boy! Oh no! I thought you were gonna fall. You can. Do you want to? Do you want to talk for a little bit? Okay. Why don't you sit, have a seat over there? I'm, enjo- I'm enjoying the sweater of this space kitten. I love that. Wow! Oh, yeah. That's, and it, that's, that's it's got those earbud uh, laces. Yeah, and like I can do it like. Like, get listen to the music, and it goes, like, uh, right to my nipples. All right. So the cat is uh, listening, and so are your nipples. Did you, have you heard of these, uh, these bone-shaking headphones? They, they're, they, they use your bone, your skull, to conduct the music? Like, so there's no actual sound happening? It's just using your skull as, like, a uh, speaker? I mean, that makes sense. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, at least for me... Yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah, you, you, you look like you, you could use some disruption. I mean, I just hear music, like, constantly, like, every time. And obviously, we're not going to ask, what are you doing? Why are yeah. you doing that? Because yeah. that's what you want us to do. And then, <laughs> and then you'll be like, I don't know. And, like, here's your medal for whatever this movement is. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to play the role of your father. Uh, shooting you looks over the top of my newspaper. Well, uh, I, 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 I'm going to support you. Like one of, one of those dads, the, the, the dads that you end up calling by, the, by his first name when, you're, uh, when you move out. Yeah, that's good, that's good. Yeah. So what... Uh, what um, uh, uh, have you? I mean, you're, have you been directing anything lately? I know you're interested. You came uh, yeah, out here to direct. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm like uh, kind of trying to make my desert film right now. My desert short. Your desert shield? De- no, this, did it sound like that? Desert short. My final short in my program. Oh, your final, your short. Yeah, okay. short film. Yeah. Are you talented enough to justify this level of eccentricity? Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I'm pretty sure I am. Yeah. Okay. What, what, one would hope that you that you that you can back that up. <laughs> you can't just start wearing kitten costumes and stuff. And <laughs> 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 well, <laughs> I mean, well, I mean, yeah, yeah. You gotta get. You gotta go. You gotta go. Uh, go. Never mind. Uh, I mean, yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm. I'm. I'm uh, so. So. Okay. So, what's your short about? Can you tell us? Uh, it, it, it's called about love, but it's not about love. Nice. <laughs> what, what's it about? It's just like a like shots of a factory, <laughs> and then a and then a razor blade on a coffee table as a tea kettle whistles <laughs> about love. I, I, I'm a little bit lost. What's happening right now? What's happening? That's all it took in the seventies. You were you you were, you were working for Spielberg after that. Oh. <laughs> what? 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 Like what? what? For real? For real? Uh, uh, is the seventies right now? Uh, it, are you uh, uh, on anything or? Oh, I mean, oh fuck! You, it's a safe place to tell us. Yeah. Yeah. With, with cameras on. Yeah. Uh, no. Okay. I mean, yeah. Just, yeah. I'm never on anything. All right. Yeah, it's just, it's just it just costs a lot of money to be on something, so. I don't do it. Oh. Yeah. So the thing keeping you from being a drug addict is, 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 the, is the financial aspect? Yeah, because, I mean, that's how, I mean, I, that's like my main problem because, I, as I see it, uh, you always have risk of uh, becoming, uh, like, heavily addicted to it. And then you need uh, a lot of money for rehabs and stuff. So I don't, uh, I don't start with that. Because if, when you have mo- no money and start drugs, it's like most... Like your future is uh, uh, not bright, might be not bright, 
Yeah. So I, I, I just kind of want to get some money first and then start with drugs. <laughs> it's, good, it's good thinking. Yeah. So you're, so you're, in the meantime, you're just drinking. Mm, I don't drink. Do you have an inner ear infection? <laughs> <laughs> well, there must be some explanation. You seem a little wobbly and, and eccentric. I'm just, I'm just an artist. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, okay. I won't, I won't keep pushing it then. Okay. You're just, you're just a wobbly, dizzy, uh, magazine page wearing, uh, sober yeah. Russian. It's like, like a, yeah, it's like my entire life is my art project mm-hmm. and like that. And it goes from, yeah, and it doesn't mean anything, at least for me, but it might mean something for people around and they will see meaning in my art. And that's how art exists. Oh, that's good. Can we start a fund to get you really high for next week? <laughs> <laughs> I, w- I wanted to see, because when we checked in with you, when we met you, mm-hmm. you said you, were a, you want, came out here to be a director, and we, we tried to have you direct us, yeah. and you just told us, talk louder or something? No, he, he, a lot of costume notes. So it's yeah, a lot yeah of... I mean, but because it's the most important thing, like in, in, at least in, in film directing, like if it's, if it's going on camera... It, sh- it should look real. You should be. Uh, if I remember correctly, you. It was a scene from a madman, and you was the right, Don yeah. Draper, and you were dressed like you. Right. And 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 and, and, and like if in uh, on an episode of a madman, Don Draper would be dressed like that. Right. Right. It won't be a madman. So it's no. it's, it's just it's it's for real. It's uh, it's the first not. Right, right. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's if the you're, most important thing. Like, if you're a crew of one, then you are also the wardrobe yeah. supervisor. You yeah. should, yeah. You know, <laughs> like, um, all right. Uh, well, so you, you, so until we get you like a 200 person crew, we'll never get like a taste of your, like, directing. We can't like, as I wanted to see how far you've come as a director, and that you've been going oh. to film school all this time. Yeah, I'm pretty far. Yeah, I mean, if Jeff and I were to do another scene from Mad Men, yeah, uh, could yeah, you okay. get beyond our wardrobe? Okay, okay, I'll, uh, okay. Uh, I'll pretend like you're dressed fine, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, in this scene, Don Draper is coming into Peggy's office. <laughs> oh. Hello, Don. <laughs> What's going on with that Heinz report? I- I was going to have it on your desk. I just got distracted. My husband is, uh, and I have been having problems at home. Can I make a few things perfectly clear? It's not going to be one of those sexist monologues you go into, is it? There's two things you're good for around here. <laughs> the Heinz account. And the Heinz account. I said it twice, because it's twice as important. This whole firm relies on the Heinz account. I don't watch Mad Men. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I, I, I noticed that. All right. So, you have some, have some notes? Uh, okay. By the way, this is now just starting to seem natural. This whole thing yeah. now. Is uh, uh, now yeah. now yeah. We're, we're strangely all okay with this. Yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, the main note is you should watch Mad Men. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right. Well, okay. I mean, so, so. Oh my God. Should we try? What, what, can we do like a Russian film? Could we do like some some kind of like artistic like uh, Solaris? Solaris. Solaris. Sal Solaris. Yeah. Uh, Tarkovsky's Tarkovsky's movie. Tarkovsky's, Solar- yeah. Tarkovsky. Yeah. About space and shit. <laughs> can we do a, a Tarkovsky in space movie? Well, can I predict his first note will be be in space? Yeah. <laughs> It seems like a lot of convenience. Like, I mean, I put this work in, and then he's like, oh, yeah, "Come back when you're in space." <laughs> then I direct. I don't. I don't. I'm getting offended. Getting offended by we, we 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 exposed ourselves right during that, and you just you know you you get to sit there in your little director's chair with hiding behind a. a, a Mac, I, I love Lucy. What is, what is this you got on your face? I have no idea. All right. <laughs> All right, we'll give you one more chance. We'll do Tartovsky in space. Tarkovsky, Tarkovsky in space, okay. Kip, Captain. <laughs> there, is a, there is a potato shortage in the potato locker. <laughs> Potatoes not important right now. 
go, go to air ro- Captain, airlock. Captain, how can you say that? <laughs> the airlock is leaking. There is a leak in the airlock. With all due respect, Captain, it will not matter if we have air or not if we don't have potatoes. <laughs> you need air more than potatoes. We shall see. Yes, I don't just care. <laughs> Tartowski in space! All right. So. He, wait, he, he looks excited about this. He's, yeah. get, he's getting into this one. I, I didn't even get what, okay. happen, what, what just happened in this scene. Someone died or what? Yeah. Yeah, he had, a, he had an oxygen mask. Oxygen, so. I, I just haven't seen it, but yeah. I, I just I can't see stuff around me with this mask, so yeah. Hmm. Uh, uh, fuck. Are the little eye holes in that cut out like in, like in a certain aspect ratio, so you're always yeah. seeing the frame? Like, yeah. <laughs> Come on, direct us. Give us some fucking notes. Some fucking notes on, on your on your improv. Oh, this, uh, this, the story. I mean, like, yeah, how, how, how would you if you if we if that was the starting point of our rehearsal and we were going to shoot this thing? Uh, you know, what, what would what would your direction be? Uh, for my us? direction would be uh, don't do stupid accent. Because it doesn't make sense. You, if you like, if you Russians, you either speak Russian, or if it's in a movie, you speak like perfect you're, English. You're, doesn't, you're speaking in a, in a stupid Russian accent right now. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's kind yeah, of a. I'm not, it's I'm, kind of the. Uh, I'm not. I'm not in the. the I'm pot not in the calling, movies. The, the pot calling the samovar black. Where, where, where have you seen reality in movies? Huh? Where have you seen something real in movies? I'm not in a movie, so I can't speak whatever, however I want. It's pretty, pretty defensive. No, All right. Well, no. Well, good job. We'll check in with you again in the next semester. See if you've oh, learned anything. Okay. Let's have a hand for totally wobbly, <laughs> edgy, dangerous Anatoly. To be fair, though, my, my Russian accent was pretty crap, and kind of it was it was kind of a, a real Eurorail pass. Yeah, but you know, lame, lame directing. <laughs> Supposed to tell us to get angry, and then we get, and then we get angry, you know. And then we would have gone like, "Good job directing us." We got angry. That's all you had to do. <laughs> Giving him like four. Now, he's, now he's just flipping you off from the front row. Gosh. Um, all right. So that was uh, that was the energy boost I needed to. <laughs> I was like taking another another capsule of Molly. When did they start calling it Molly? Why did that happen? They just keep moving that goalpost. When I when I when I first encountered it, they, we called it X, like Jamie Kennedy X. Yeah. But then the kids were like, "That's lame. It's E." I called it E for X to see, and then and then it be, and then it, like and then it's Molly. Is it, is Molly just more the more of a pure MDMA kind of thing, or is? Yeah. It, it's, it's cut with amphetamine? Yeah. yeah. I thought... I, yeah, Molly's yeah. pure MDMA. I, 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 it's the other way around. I think yeah, ecstasy was always had a little speedy, speedy component to it, and then the MDMA is more like, this is... You can just wiggle your eyeballs and... Yeah, I went to the uh, Hollywood Bowl and saw Holst's uh, Planets and uh, on a little bit of Molly, and it was uh, groovy. It was very good. I recommend that. <laughs> <sighs> Boy... <laughs> I mean, I, I say we're going to have bad shows a lot, but, like, I, I really meant it this time. Uh, I, I feel like we can coast on Tartoski in space for another half hour. I don't think that was that good. I think they're, I think they're being nice. They want, us to, they want us to entertain them. They feel stupid for paying $10. They're going to they're gonna tend to jump on anything they can. And we don't even have Spencer tonight. Uh, I don't know. Spencer, do you hear that? Spencer, can you hear me? Uh... Well, let's try an experiment. Eventually, I want to get these monitors in here so that we can do for the live stream. We can do like a, a feed, and then people could tweet at us, uh-huh. uh, and then we could like respond to them, kind of. But like, uh, for now, let's just do. This like show a- is like a fucking freight train of entertainment. <laughs> this is some breathless shit. Oh my god, I feel like a bum. All right, pick a hashtag. Uh, 
Uh, hashtag uh, Tartoski in space. That's too hard to spell. We'll just hashtag po- potato locker. Potato shortage. Okay. Hashtag. Well, okay. Potato shortage. Okay, so if you're watching on the live feed, or I guess these guys can't too, but there goes those eight laughs we were getting. Uh, just uh, t- uh, tweet something at hashtag uh, potato shortage, and then we'll and we can address their uh, their issues. I love it. The future is now. Yeah, let's just wait for that. that. So you're saying that we would have a monitor, like like a, like a screen that where this would be happening live during the show, like up here? Or? Well, yeah, something so that they can see. Because the idea would be if you were watching the live stream, then it would be like a lower third. But then they have to see the same thing that the people on the live stream are seeing. Mm-hmm. That's the difficulty. I'd like to do more visual stuff just to make people mad uh, that are listening for free. Yeah. They're going to wonder what the hell was on Anatoly's face the yeah. entire time. Like we'll, we'll start playing like fun like like uh, photos from a safari. Uh. Is is Erin here tonight? Or is she recovering from she's, hypothetical? She's, uh, she's not serotonin here. She w- she went with a group of like fifty girls to see Fifty Shades of Grey. They w- they did a whole outing. <laughs> wow. I don't, I don't know if those were groans of pleasure or yeah. or pain, as as the source material I guess would want want me to be confused. Right, I'm assuming. There's a blurred line. I don't know, isn't it? It's about S and M stuff. Oh fuck! I left my book on the plane. God damn it! <laughs> Not Fifty Shades of Grey. I was reading another book. What what book were you it's reading? It's called Rubicon. It's about the last days of the Roman Empire. It was very good. Has anybody read it? Tom Holland, right? Really well written stuff. And then of course, leave it on the plane. You got a copy of it? You audio booked it? Yeah, I have to go find it. All right, hit me, hit me with a fucking rap beat. Oh shit! <laughs> let's, let's just like, let's just, let's let's get this thing. Let's go deep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big pile of booties out front. Fuck your mom. Huh. That's the only thing that rhymes with that is. Uh, <clears throat> All right, all right, that's enough, that's enough. <laughs> if that's how this is going to go. <laughs> I thought it would bring up the energy, but... Dan, it's not that, that, that the rap bar was ever set that high by you, but that was poor. That was I very poor. I didn't poor. get to the first rhyme. <laughs> you didn't, but I'm you, calling that a victory, <laughs> the, the not getting to the rhyme of that one. Yeah. Really? Oh, I got one. All right, play it. All right. <laughs> Do you like that beat? You want to feel something else? Uh, uh, you might play the same one. Sorry, I just okay. sprayed vodka on you. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Baby dance, baby dance, baby, 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 baby dance. Big pile of booties out front. Candid camera hosted by Alan Funt. Saw your mama just the other day Got on my knees and I started to pray Cause your mama's booty is like a god to me It's all that I ever see Like a Tootsie Roll in those old ads I fucked your mama, her name is Tad Thaddeus by birth Then later shortened to the informal Tad I took your mama to the beach I fed her apples, I fed her a peach. She started to get heartburn because the citric acid, that's what we learned, is causing her esophagus to fuck her up. Now she's in a sarcophagus. She's not dead. She's just getting getting out of her head. Little meditation exercise. Fucked your mama between her juicy thighs. Put my head inside. I got reverse born. Now I'm wide. I'm wide. W I D E. I meant to say it. It's a new way to say cool. Uh, wide. Well. You're wide now. All right. That was good. See, I feel that energy now. Yeah. But it doesn't really matter. That gave them energy. Then they give it to me. And what do I do with it? I gotta uh, say, man, that shit was wide. <laughs> that shit was wide. Hashtag potato shortage. 
<laughs> All right. Well, I mean, he, he, uh, he, he, let's bring out DeMorge. DeMorge Brown! Downtown DeMorge Brown. <laughs> Boy, this is what you have to see on the live stream to really get yeah. the... Yeah. There's a lot of visual goodies going on here. Uh, that's, that's, that's pretty wide, man. <laughs> well, what is right for you is right for other people, right? All right. So, uh, the Chinese are at it again. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Chinese, man. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't have anything. Oh, let's check the. Uh, I'll check the uh, the feed. Okay, let's see here. How are you, Demar? It's a very exciting shirt you have on there. I like oh, this. Oh, thank you very much. Well, it's Valentine's Day weekend. I thought I would do something for myself. <laughs> <laughs> As I'm only with myself, single, single ladies. Are you, are you, are you, are you single, gentlemen? You have, you, you? Uh, yeah, I am. Yeah. 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 For, for how long? Uh, f- until someone solves that riddle, you know. <laughs> I mean, like, when was the last time you were in a serious? Ah, uh, jeez, oh, like a couple of years ago, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was. Uh, interesting. What, what's your record for the longest uh, relationship? I think like seven years, six seven years, seven years, six years, something like Shit, that. Shit, that's yeah, long. Like college and then some. Wow. Yeah, she's a wonderful person. She was a great person. She was a good kid. And then what? And then I moved to Los Angeles. I think you know, I wanted to be an actor, and she wanted to be a human being, and I think that's sort of. <laughs> 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 and so. <laughs> I had to become fictional. Oh, these, these tweets are very critical. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe this is a bad emotional road to walk down right now. <laughs> this guy says, I, I, I think you'd be surprised how many people would watch a live stream of Dan just staring at his phone. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Hashtag potato shortage? I guess I'll hear this on Wednesday, says this guy. <laughs> Damn, Dan can't even rap. What horrible mush has he made his Whoa. mind? Whoa. I know, yeah, it's terrible. Damn. Uh, <laughs> Josh Cahill says, I felt massive shame this week when I accidentally bought one-ply toilet paper. <laughs> I, I had that. I, I, when I, the first time I ever went grocery shopping with, with Aaron, it was like, kind of, she hadn't, she had, I don't think she'd moved in yet, but it was sort of like, you know, there's like that sort of like one day you, in a relationship, you kind of, you both go grocery shopping together. And, uh, and, and she, I remember early in our relationship, Aaron went through a very brief phase of trying to impress me with how frugal she was and how unimpressed she was with, right. with, with, with my money. Like, 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 so if I would say like, oh, let's just, get, let's just take a cab there. She'd be like, no, no, we can drive. And I was like, no, it's safer to take it, take a cab. But she, she bought, I needed toilet paper and she, she got this giant pack and said like, this is, this is, look, this is like, look at this big pack of toilet paper. Uh, look how cheap it is. I'm like, okay, I'm very impressed. And uh, it was one ply, and I and I'm still wiping my ass with it. <laughs> you, you, you haven't got. It's only it? just now start down to like one roll, many, and finally. What, what is the problem with one ply? You've been together for three. What is the problem with one ply? Asking a question. I don't. I, I mean, it's like toilet paper is. No, you should. Toilet paper is one of those things that you have to spend all the money on. Like, like don't <laughs> don't skimp. On, it was it a dollar difference? Go get the good shit. Get you want really to, nice uh, until they come up with better technology than just paper to wipe the shit out of your butt. <laughs> I will. True. The this thicker, the better. True. Like the the more the more between you and your what your body is even saying. Don't go don't near go this. With the, don't yeah, go with don't the, don't the put wispy, this, the wispy stuff. Don't put this in your hand. This is this, this is coming out the other side. <laughs> don't you think it's interesting that we are just worms? <laughs> You know, a multicellular organism when worms it, with it hands. develops, it becomes like a circle. It's like it's an increase in surface area, and like basically, we, we all we evolved from from the, you know the multi first multicellular organisms were like these t- just tubes, so like shit would go and digest through, and we're still tubes. Yeah, you know, this is outside your body, inside your butt, like. <laughs> It's like what you're doing when you, you take a cookie and you put it in your mouth. You're you're just rubbing the outside of your body along it. Some would say the worm is on the inside. 
The worm is on the inside? Yeah. And that we're on the outside doing other things. Well, yeah, we, we, we have... We've we co-opted have, a we worm. We have built on our worm yeah, a, okay. a, 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 a whole life. It's just getting way too wide for me, man. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you, Josh Cahill, for not uh, uh, saying shitty things. Are any of the cameras on? I don't see any red lights. Uh, it, it's, uh, uh, this guy's just sending other rhymes for uh, for uh, front. Oh dear, <laughs> that could be risky. They're they're mostly asking about potatoes. I think that's a uh, that's a mistake we made. <laughs> Where's Kumail? That's a good question. Where's Kumail? Are we going to get some Kumail? How excited are you about Fifty Shades? I'm, what feed is this? Uh, I had them tweet at potato, the hashtag potato shortage. Oh, okay. Any relationship advice on how to stop a communication breakdown from snowballing? Hmm. All right. Okay. I'm, how to keep a communication breakdown from snowballing? You, uh, you, have to, um, you have to learn that your feelings are your feelings and your thoughts are your thoughts. And the mistake that we all make is we say... Uh, look, you're making me very angry right now. Or I feel like when you come home late from work, the blah, blah, blah. These are this is like, we're constantly doing that. We're going like, I feel like you're a piece of shit, which is, which is really impossible. Like, like the, it's, 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 it's not honest. Like, isn't that the good part that when somebody says, I feel, because normally what doesn't, if you say that it, what people say is you're a piece of shit and they don't mean I feel you're a right, piece exactly. of shit. Right, exactly. So you have to tend your own garden and express what is actually happening inside of you just think of it this way what's this, what's something that nobody could argue with you know like if you said i just oh well i just i'm just uncomfortable uh right now i, I don't expect you to do anything like like no no one anybody who would say well you shouldn't be uncomfortable they're an asshole like 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 but if you say to somebody i'm uncomfortable so you should move your car you should go do something else then you're you, that person is allowed to then say well if i move my car i'm gonna feel like this or but but the important thing is to communicate your feelings especially with your lover like you no one needs their car moved or anything like that they're, they're, all that ever happens is you both are afraid that the other one has stopped loving you. And and, and then you, somebody says, like, I feel sad because you did something. And then the other person is like, that's bullshit. I'm not the reason you're sad. And I, now I feel angry at you. And you're not really sharing feelings, your own feelings. You're just... You're just, you're just yelling shit at each other. Are you still doing the uh, couples therapy thing with Eric? Yeah, can't you tell? I'm fucking... <laughs> I'm, I'm a master now. <laughs> Except I, I took off my wedding ring at work and it's sitting on my desk. Wow. Yeah. Oh, boy. It's okay. It's, uh, it'll still be there. But, uh, yeah, that could have been like a desk made of quicksand. <laughs> <laughs> so, lesson learned. Don't take off your wedding ring. Are you... You're always working right now, right? Like you're, you're, you're pretty much a community all the time, right? Yeah. Does that take a toll on you and Aaron? Like, like if you don't have a lot of time to it's spend... A, it's a very big challenge, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It'll bring, it'll bring, the, bring the bad stuff out. Is she here tonight? Is she coming? She's watching... Oh, I, I already asked Fifty yeah. Shades of Grey. All right. Yeah, it's, ba- it's, 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 it's tough, but we're, we're, we're dealing with it. We're all right. When's the light at, at the end of the tunnel for you being finished with community? Uh, sorry, what? I was reading my Twitter feed. All right. Are you, are you, are you almost done with Community? Oh, yeah, we're yeah. shooting uh, like the ten, ninth episode. Matt Berry flies in on Tuesday. He's going to uh, do an episode of him. I to, oh, shit. You know what? Not reminds, a woman. That reminds me. <laughs> uh, reminder, write script for Matt Berry for Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so, uh, so you, you're casting without any script? Or you're just saying, oh, <laughs> yeah, we, we did. We want you on a thing. Well, when they're, when they're international like that, you've got you to gotta book them well in advance and schedule everything with them. So we knew we were going to do an episode with Matt Berry. Now we know, as of yesterday, I woke up. I know what we're going to do. But then yesterday I played, I was vanilla, uh, vanilla, Valentine's. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Valentine's Day. <laughs> vanilla teen. <laughs> And today was Vanilla Minecraft. Uh, uh, tomorrow, which is a holiday, I'll, I'll slave over a hot keyboard for Matt Berry. A hit will be born. <sighs> I want to hear you discuss Kanye West. I find him to be super wide, but there seems to be a perception <laughs> created by I the I really medium. hope that gains traction. <laughs> I want wide to become a thing for, for the rest of our lives. 
<laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, I, the SNL's doing their 40-year anniversary tonight, and I, I, I have seen some tweets uh, being critical of Kanye. I don't, I don't, I, I'm a little out of touch with uh, Kanye. Yeah, what's going on in Kanye news? Is he, is he a pariah? He seems like he's probably a, he's like a very talented producer and rapper, but he also seems like he's kind of a ding dong, right? Like he's. A, it's just I think he's just, uh, somebody's given him a formula that says every six days he's got to do something publicly, and and the weirder it is, the better. And so he just kind of plays that ball back and forth. I, I mean, you know, it's all just yeah. it all falls away. And then he throw when it, when they, people start to lose patience with him, he just throws a slab of incredible music out and tours for two years and then comes back. I guess fine, man. I like that Gold Digger song. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I just heard? Cause I, I, I don't know shit about hip-hop. Uh, my friend Morgan Groby, uh, uh, he loves hip-hop, and uh, he played that song Monster for me with Nicki Minaj and uh, who else is on that, Jay-Z? It's fucking good. Yeah. She's really good on that, too. I was very excited about that. She is, she that's, that's, that's the end of my rap knowledge. Yeah, I'm just, <laughs> yeah. when, when, I was in high school, I, when I was in high school, we, we, we all had really big sound systems in our car. Like, like we all had stolen like speakers and amps and all this shit. And, uh, cause Alpine, all, like Alpine, yeah, Alpine and blah punks and all that stuff. And, and we would all play, uh, it was all hip hop all the time. And like, we were just a bunch of white assholes. It was very, <laughs> it was really cheesy, like two live crew and shit, like terrible. Yeah. Candice Razo says, I want to have sex with my boyfriend while he watches Harmontown. Why'd she hashtag? This seems like an extraordinarily bad idea. <laughs> Are we supposed to give her the thumbs up? Go ahead. Or... Go ahead. Go I ahead. think uh, they should do that on the condition that there's photos made available. This guy wants me to flip Ugh. off Anatoly. All right. <laughs> And this guy wants me to take off my shirt. Says he wants sad shirtless Dan, please. That apparently is going to happen. Oh, let's get ready to rumble. <laughs> come on, come on, Coco. That really is wide. <laughs> can you can you actually start crying? Can you produce an actual tear for us now? <laughs> it's the new Coco. Uh, all right, I'm gonna try to really cry. <laughs> so fat. Uh, the earth is dying. <laughs> Uh, my dad's gonna die. Uh, I, I can't. There's nothing. <laughs> uh, I mean, my dad's not sick or anything. Yeah. Right? Otherwise, that would probably work. Wait, what was the order? Fat, Earth is dying. My dad's gonna die. <laughs> remember, remember the improv show we did where you ended up naked on stage and you had a nosebleed, so you were covered in blood. <laughs> And holding your, your junk, and I sang you a lullaby, and you were just pouring bright, incredibly red blood, and uh, Jack Black was in the audience, and we were so embarrassed, and he comes back out of the show, and he goes, guys, that was a fucking fiasco. <laughs> it really was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just realized we really undermined Candace, uh, but, <laughs> you know, her boyfriend's probably not going to be able to perform. <laughs> Candace's boyfriend, just look, look, look from the neck down <laughs> where I'm a beautiful lady. Don't listen to those haters hate, says at Embrace La Base. Your show is going fucking great. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> the, this guy says this show is great even without serotonin. This guy says keep talking about your butt. Oh. So remember when... Can do. <laughs> remember when Spencer talked about his... Caloric, pistolic. You remember that that nest cyst or whatever in his oh, yeah. thing. That he had, the the day he started talking about that, I got one. 
And I've had it the whole time. I was like, could that really be some kind of psychosomatic, like I got this thing that Spencer talked about? And I had it, and, and then it's, I finally, it started to go away, and then the next day Spencer told me his went away. That's the end of that story. <laughs> I got nothing. Well, I guess <laughs> this show is really something. <laughs> this one's probably for Jeff. Uh, I'm trying to learn to make better scones. What type of fruit or filling should I add? Fuck you, Dan! No. <laughs> S- scones suck, right? Scones aren't good. Uh, you know, I'm not a big fan of them. You don't want a fucking scone ever. You want a croissant or a fucking, like... Yeah, something flaky, yeah. something light. Yeah. yeah. No, so you want a biscuit. It's like yeah. cake, it's like cakey gravel, sort of. No, it's not good. Yeah. No, if, if you're if you're having scones, you're you're doing it wrong, I believe. <laughs> my advice is don't make scones. It's like uh, aim aim higher. That's my advice. Hmm. This guy says, "Woman pouring her hot coffee into the trash." I said, "You'll start a fire." She looked at the stream coming out and screamed, and screamed. That's uh, that's just a crazy guy. You think? Maybe that's the one guy who's using the hashtag potato shortage for something else. <laughs> <laughs> he actually... <laughs> After the moon base gets set up, can Harmenians colonize other celestial bodies like Europa or something? Yes. Uh, on the next Rixty minutes, might they catch an episode of Community? I don't know. Uh, I saw that fly too, Demorge. That's eight minutes ago. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah there was an enormous <laughs> prehistoric animal flew by your head. It's like, for a, a, yes. like a gnat. Yeah, yeah. It, was, yeah. it was large. Damon Gentry says, Dan, do you ever get writer's block? What do you do if that happens? Aha. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> what? You're adorable. You're so cute. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you're, like a, you're like the little Benny Hanna guy. Be- Benny Hanukkah? Yeah, like the, 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 the Benny Hanna restaurant logo, like a little Buddha guy. Oh, you, you I thought you said Benny Buddha? Hanukkah. Uh, <laughs> Benny Hanukkah. Yeah, you get, you, you get a different um, uh, wonton for each of the eight days. Of, um, the uh, uh, oh, writer's block. Yeah, uh, I've said this a thousand times before, but but it's it, it's uh, it's good good advice. Pr- uh, prove that you're a bad writer. There you go. Okay. You're trying to prove that you're a good writer. That's what's blocking you. Because you, no matter how good you get, you're always going to think that you should be better than you are because you want to be a good writer. And you will be by thinking that. But it's not going to get you writing right now. And the only thing that's going to make you get better is practicing. And the only thing you're going to be able to write right now is something worse than what you think you should be writing. So you have to stop thinking about the thing that you're eventually going to be able to do. And you have to start thinking about the thing that you're terrified you will do because that will go by very quickly. It's like cheating. It's like putting shit in your gas tank. It's like, it's, like, it's like putting exhaust in your gas tank. It's like the thing your car makes that you can't use. You, you can fuel your car on it, technically. Just write badly. I mean, it's not, you just, and specifically do that by saying, okay, this, I'm going to actually go there. I'm going to actually show myself what a piece of shit writer I really am without thinking about any of it. I'm impressed by the uniformity of your chest hair. It's, it's just perfectly... <laughs> It's very even. Do you, do, you, do you trim that, or is that just, is that just natural? I, I tr- yes. Uh, yes, I spend a great deal of time <laughs> on my chest hair, and this is the result. <laughs> I, I, spend, I spend five hours a day to, to achieve uh, the... Uh, 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 God damn it, I forgot his name. You've got, a, you've got a very impressive little back neck tuft going on there, too. Uh, J- uh, J- who's, who's the porn star that 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 ever? Ron yeah, Jeremy. Ron Jeremy. Yeah. <laughs> Would have been funny. <sighs> uh, let's all take our shirts off. <laughs> what is your thoughts on Spider-Man in the Marvel Cinematic Universe? Bad grammar. Uh, just kidding. I don't care. Uh, I, oh, I heard a rumor about Spider-Man that Sony and Marvel are now going to be... It's not a rumor, it's news, right? So, Sony and Marvel are going to be sharing Spider-Man now in some weird way. 
Like Sony, Sony's get, gets to make Spider-Man movies, and so does Marvel, and they don't make money off of each other's movies, but they're going to use the same Spider-Man. Are they using the same Spider-Man or the same they Spider-Man? All stood- <laughs> yeah, which means they're going to have to have some kind of web slinger summit. Or, uh, <laughs> I, I, it's, it, it, I, I don't, I don't know what to make of it. Movies are for children now. I don't, ca- I don't care anymore. Will Aaron be playing the role of Christian Grey when she comes home tonight? I don't know. Who in here has read those books or any of those books? Applause, anybody? You? There's a lot of guilty looking faces out there right now. Nobody, really? One and a half? Are they really bad? There's too much sex? That's that's your complaint. Who is that? I, 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 she wants less fucking. She's like 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 the, the, you, or more pizza. <laughs> I, I I missed all of that. I don't. I don't what, what, I, I'm sorry. She, she was saying they're bad books because there's people are fucking just too wantonly. Like you, n- n- no one can walk five steps apparently without without just rogering somebody next to them or whatever. <laughs> That's what the movie's about. It's just like like everyone's just doing it with each other. I don't know. Oh. The, the book. Oh. <laughs> Bring her up. <laughs> Will you come up on stage so we can yeah, see yeah. you and hear you? And I, I want to talk about this. What, what's your name? Let's put a face to the shame. Give me a hug. Come on, give me a hug. No, I'm kidding. Sorry. Uh, uh, so, yeah, there you go. Anywhere what's your name, you madam? My name is Angel. Hello, Angel. Welcome. Thank you. You're looking very smart. Obviously. All right, so hello. This is like reading Rainbow. You're gonna do, give us your book report on uh, Fifty Shades of Grey. All right. Now you say you're a, you're a book and a half in. Does that mean that you are currently well, reading one of the my books? My friend and I uh, both, I think, we got to the same place, and we were like, <sighs> I can't believe I actually wanted there to be a plot. I didn't get her enough sex. I disagree. Get <laughs> guess, get her up here. <laughs> Bring Point it on up, sister. Point. Bring it on up. Point counterpoint. Now we have a discussion on our hands. Oh, and then I, and then we have a good we have a good we question that got tweeted in. Keanu. Oh God. We'll you explain. Out. Okay. What, what is your name? My name is Laura. Angel and Laura. Okay. So you, one of you says too much sex. One says not enough. Yep. Guess how our lives go. <laughs> I know how tonight's gonna go. <laughs> Let us know. I, know. I I I agree that they could they they like be in a restaurant and all of a sudden they have to have sex, but. They're like, don't, let's, don't even go to the bathroom. Like, go in the parking lot. I don't know. It's just they need to calm down. But it wasn't good sex. That's the point. If there's going to be it's sex, it's it should really be good. It's really repetitive sex. It's like if you just had missionary sex. For, and it's weird because it's about, like, S&M, but it's like, I, I don't think give a shit anymore. Older, older people down. like it and think it's risque, but we grew up with the internet, and so it's not. Yeah. Interesting. And some, I, 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 and some of those old people grew up on the internet, so we're actually just bored with all sex. Like, I, <laughs> I feel like I'm just like an asexual like <laughs> lump of clay. Like you really don't look like it. Oh, thanks, baby. So somebody asked a question that I think we could all take a stab at here. Uh, uh, this person's uh, Twitter handle is Yesi underscore Bev. And they say, if you could tell one person about 9-11 before it happened, who would you tell and why? What would change? you got to pick one person. It's pretty easy, right, though? Don't you just... You tell... Hmm. The, the, the pilot knew. The pilot, the, pi- knew. the pilot knows, yeah. Uh, oh, no, you mean like the actual pilot. Some person the, uh, your, own, your own personal life. That you think you have to, don't you just tell, like, uh, the, uh, you know... I'd tell her so I could just say, I told you so, and make her mad. Now, you, you tell some really old school, like, New York cop. Like, some, 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 some guy who's, th- who's seen it all. <laughs> some, somebody should, I mean, uh, I'm not saying that I'm the guy who would do this, but somebody should have told Brian Gumbel because the, the video of him as it's going down is insane. It's just, he just, ref- it, I, it's the most confounding thing in the world because they're telling him what's going down and he's just sitting there going, so let me, let me, let me understand, there's, a, there's a, a building 
And it's like you're there. You're in this. He's in it as it's going on. It goes on for hours and hours and hours. And, and he still you, doesn't. You, you, Peter, yeah. like, is there, he wouldn't get off the air so that somebody could explain to him what was going on. And I can't imagine that people were trying to explain to him what was going on. And he had, it was all live feeds with people telling him what was happening. And he just kept repeating the same question over. And people were getting angry with him. Was the he, experts on the ground were getting was angry. Was he just in disbelief? Or he was just thunderstruck? Or he wasn't... No, it was, just, it, was, it was just him. I don't know what he was doing. But it was just him and his own rhetoric just sort of trying to parlay this into a, like a real sports interview as if it was a hypothetical. And it's just, <laughs> you know, then the backdrop changes and that now there are no building. And he still just kind of like struggled. It, there's an ad now with he and... Uh, uh, um, Katie Couric. Katie yeah. Couric. And it's, and it's based on this humorous thing with them dealing with the... Uh, the internet and stuff, but this is like the same thing with a real, with this real non, you know, humorous event that's going on in real time, and it's just hmm. fuck that guy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean a bad way. I just sort of like. Come Will on, there be a nine twelve? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, the uh, you would you what, what the, you know what would be a good movie is you have that the, it starts with that question like. Um, Michael Caine is Mr. Destiny or somebody comes and says like you can go Juan anybody <laughs> you want about 9-11 go and then you go and you, you go and it cuts to like Robert Downey Jr. is like goes up the White House steps and he's like Mr. President and, and, and Mr. President says yeah and he says the 9-11 is going to happen and, and then he's like, like, let me explain exactly what 9-11 is going to be. I got 10 minutes, and then, he, and then you know, you, you don't want to hear it all, so you cut to, like, a cigarette that shortens. And then, <laughs> and then he's like, and, that, and, that's, and it's going to happen on 9-11, and the mnemonic device for that is it's an emergency, and also it's September 11th, so 2001. So, okay, all right, thank you, says the president. And then the, he doesn't tell him that he's traveled in time, though. So then he goes back to the present, Robert Downey Jr., and he gets there, and it's like everything's the same. 9-11 happened just the same way. You know why? Why? They let it happen. But he spends some time trying to make sure, oh, did it not, maybe it was a dream. Maybe so, yeah, so, and he's the only guy that can, that can prove that it actually was an inside job because he right. told him. Right, but his evidence is a strange story about going back like, in time. I totally time traveled and yeah. did it. But he has, the president makes the mistake of saying, this was great 9-11 forewarning, thank you. I want you to take my lucky rabbit's foot. <laughs> It's a presidential lucky rabbit's foot. The guy didn't think anything of it, and he, when he t traveled back to the present, he ran into his ex-girlfriend, who he hates, but, <laughs> but who he loves, and he gives it to her. He goes like, you know what? Here, take this. Uh, she, she's like, I'm going to go study overseas. And he's like, take this. And she's like, why? He's like, it's just something someone gave me. So then he goes home, and it's like, oh, 9-11 happened just like regular. And he's like, what? It must have been an inside job and because I said that rabbit's foot. I got to get that rabbit's foot. But my ex-girlfriend has it, and I hate her. <laughs> and she's overseas. I, I need another Michael Caine scene at this point. I told you, the rules to this thing it can't go. Can't go back once. Come on, I, I need it. Oh, yeah, stop. Wait, get that. Oh. I gotta go away, see? Ooh, and I'll hug it. <laughs> so, yes? No, yeah. He was all here. I was all here. He was all here. Is Robert Downey Jr. playing himself? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yes. <laughs> That's why he didn't need to get a tour or anything. Like, he just walked up the White House steps. Is that RDJ down there? That's, that was my president. Speaking of which, somebody requested your uh, Obama, if you want to. Uh, here, I'll do the, we'll do the scene where I'm Robert Downey Jr. O Obama wasn't president during that. Oh, right, right. <laughs> yeah, that wouldn't work. Well, he finds well, Obama at a cafe who's going over his presidential uh, nomination forms. Uh, and, and uh, yeah, Mr. President, 
I mean, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Barack. Kind of jumping the gun there a little bit, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, look. Do you mind if I sit down? My name is Robert Downey Jr. Uh, well, it's a free country, uh, and uh, quite frankly, I'm not going to pretend that I don't know who you are. Oh. So. <sighs> I'm going to sit on the chair by turning it around and straddling it <laughs> just to add some energy. Here's the deal. 9-11's going to happen. The date? <laughs> or is there some new band that I'm not uh, familiar with? It's going to be some planes, and they're going to... Because, you know, 311 is bad enough. But if I don't gonna... ever want to know things. You say... I want to do what I want to do. I want to do what I want to do. I want to do what I want to do. I want to do what I want to do. On 9 11. It all happens on 9 11. What I've got to do is get to my people. Uh, and we've got to come up with a policy for this. Uh, and there are proper channels uh, for making this happen. Just as long as you stop 9-11. That's all I care about. I'll see you later. Well, you sure you don't want to... Oh, all right. I mean, I had, I had a couple of these danishes, and, and certainly I can only get through half of one. Uh, but if it, there it goes. Just stop 9-11, future president. <clears throat> yeah, I got five minutes left in 1999. I should... Uh, maybe I should go... Uh, you know what you want? You, I don't know if you like steak. Oh. Uh, but, but while you're here, there's a five-minute steak place that's around the corner. All right. Well, I, I'll probably get to make, watch them make it. But then I got to go. Hmm. Doggy, doggy bag. I can take it. Yeah. <laughs> Is the steak better in 1999 than it ever will be? It'd be 10 years old. It would be eight. It'd be a oh, seared eight. Kobe beef. A mix of green peppers. And black peppers. When do people start fucking? Uh, I somehow lost enough. my uh, I lost my hashtag search. All right. Uh, based on Dan's Michael Caine impression, campaign to get him into the trip three. I don't know what that means. Too pop cultural. I don't like pop cultural references. They they both do very funny Michael Caine impressions in that. It's very good. The end. <laughs> Please fix the red cup in the ice bucket. My OCD can't take it. I mean, OCD doesn't mean you can't handle things being at an angle. It's, there's, no, there's no proper way for a cup to be. Don't blame that on OCD, you crazy person. I was going to tweet asking if there's spare vodka, but my phone ran out of battery. Oh yeah, I should. I the I, I can't. There's j j help yourself. No, it's okay. It's okay. No, no, help yourself. I, I just don't want to dig in the uh, ice manners. with my hand. I'm what? Your manners, sir. I'm just kidding. No, I. I <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm trying. I'm trying not to. Uh, I don't want to touch your ice. It's oh. it's good manners if you think about it. All right. These girls. Are, I, are, you, are you two good friends? Have you known each other for a long time? Yeah. Where did you guys grow up? Uh, Tucson. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but we're like the friends that hate each other, too. Why is that? I don't know. Because she's what? really funny. When do you like fucking and when do you hate She's so funny. I know. Ugh. But I, I don't know. No, hmm. really, don't you have that, though? Everybody has that friend that they really love, but they also kind of hate sometimes. Like a frenemy? No. <laughs> Maybe if you go on a staycation together. <laughs> On, on Vanilla Day. <laughs> <laughs> Levi wants to know, how does Jerry McSeinfeld feel about the potato shortage? <clears throat> <laughs> how come it's got to be a potato shortage? Why can't it be a tollage? All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank Jeff for Teen Wolf. Okay. It's my best work. <laughs> this guy says, I have bone conduction speakers you can try fourth row. Really? Oh, okay. Wow, well, we've, we've got can the, we've bring got the him, skull bring speakers him, bring, him, bring them to Jeff. Let Jeff try them. What kind of bone? 
What goes on here? It's a Google Glass. Cool. Right? And then put them on. And then <laughs> oh, wow. Tap the side and go to a video of Dan rapping or something. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know the goop. It's, uh, it's doing whatever you told it to. Okay, so it's recording a video. Yeah. So if I talk real loud right now, and then it'll do 10 seconds, and then it'll stop. Okay. And then if you replay the video, then it'll come out a speaker here on the side. Okay, that's 10 seconds. You, all right. Oh, yeah. Ooh, I heard that. Now so now hip -play. tap it. Yeah, tap it to hit play, and it'll say play video. Sure. Yeah. And then it'll play the Ooh, video. Play? Yeah, hit play. And then the way you can tell it's bone conduction is when it's playing... If you push this against your skull, it'll get louder. Or if you close your ears like this, then it gets louder because it's making your head vibrate. Nothing's happening. <laughs> <laughs> here, 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 here we go. I don't hear a shit. I see you moving. You also might have heard these aren't that popular. And people make <laughs> <laughs> Theoretically, that's how it works. I mean, I felt like an enormous douchebag while wearing it. <laughs> That's, that's his primary purpose. Terminator. What is your name? Daniel. Hello, Daniel. Thank you very uh, much. Yeah, no problem. That's, that's our tech correspondent, Daniel, with, <laughs> with the now discontinued Google Glass. Which, Thank you very much, sir. What, so when you get the Google Glass, does it, is, it, is there like a, is, is the bone conducting speakers like an option, like a sunroof on a car? No, or? it's mandatory. It's oh, okay. The, the side uh, huh. And, and, and it really sounds like uh, it's right normal, normal speakers and you so like if you're at a concert and you're listening to it you can plug your ears and you can like if you're having a phone conversation with someone and then you can hear it even though there's loud things around you because it's hmm. going through your head interesting yeah <laughs> uh, the brunette to your left the redhead or the black guy F murder kill go <laughs> <laughs> I wandered into that. Like a <laughs> uh, I, 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 I look. I'm I'm not allowed. I took a I took vows that preclude me from playing fuck murder kill ever again. Uh, I'll save it for you. Fuck. Murder and kill are the same thing. So yeah. Oh, well, oh, Mary, Mary. It's Mary. Oh, Mary. <laughs> her you can kill me i don't care i have no. the will to live all right great well i didn't mean to make this <laughs> dark <laughs> <laughs> yeah that didn't seem like a sincere threat or anything I, um all right well let's uh um let's why don't we why don't we thank these young ladies and, and get them out of here thank you angela and laura <laughs> thanks ladies thanks for your 50 shades of gray report and they added some energy, right? Yeah. Yes. Right. Yeah. Yeah, this, this, right. this, this show isn't free fall right now, man. It's just, it's, 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 oh! We should do something every 9 11. <laughs> All right. Like, we're, I'm always going to notice it. So, what do we do every 9 11? Uh, huh, what? Make a wish. Make a wish. Make a wish. <laughs> If you if you use that wish for anything other than there to be no more 9/11s, you're an asshole, right? I would like you to do a, uh, a every 9/11. I want you to go into some sort of weird Michael Caine uh, scene. <laughs> I'll say I'm a ho I got. Uh, <clears throat> Ooh, see, Michael Caine on Act you see Michael Caine on acting, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. The instructional video. Who's the the comic uh, the Michael Caine in the love scene? I love you. I got it. Michael was. Let's do it again, but a little more romantic this time. All right. I bloody love you. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that comic? We'll find out. Is Rob Schraub in the house? No, I, you'd hear his dumb laugh. Right? <laughs> he has to get prepped to shoot the Matt Berry episode. Take off the pants. What do you have to lose? I'll tell you. I'll tell you what I have to lose. Uh, the, uh, the 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 secret of my skid mark uh, is what I have. To lose. <laughs>
uh, I, I, I am, I'm, I'm pretty certain that, uh, that it'll be, yeah, gross if I take off my pants. What sort of uh, underwear do you wear? You're, like, you're a tidy whitey guy? What do you got? Uh, I you think bo- boxers. What do you wear? I can't remember. Like they're like box. They're like they're like boxer briefs. I boxer guess. Briefs. Yeah. You can't remember the underwear you wear. Because I put them on. Like you know, they, each pair is like three weeks. So you know, I can't. Like, and then I just throw them in the garbage. <clears throat> <laughs> Buy a new pack. We're so different. <laughs> What does the Latin on the Harmontown sign mean? Uh, I think it means uh, we, uh, we, we, we found a city without tyranny. We write in Latin without understanding. Uh, you're welcome. That's uh, Caesar back there. Uh, Jeff, Jeff Rap, please. NBA Rap. NBA Rap. Yeah, you don't like the NBA? You, I used you, to, you I racist, used, bro? I used to like the NBA. I grew up as a Laker fan, man. It was awesome. Well, then back do, in the do, a, do an NBA rap. This uh, person asked for it. Lakers, Lakers, going down the court, wearing afros and shorts that are short. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I've got skills. This guy, Aaron Nelson, says he needs to write a 9-11 song for us to play and sing along to at 9-11. That would be a good thing. Like okay. Every 9-11. But, you know, don't make it... Well, I don't, I'm don't. i not going to say don't make it whatever. I mean, it'll, it'll, it'll be perceived as offensive if that's how you want to perceive it. But I think we should... It'll be a solemn moment. 9-11. Obviously, it refers to a national tragedy. And then we'll do something with that moment to, to this guy's music, maybe. We'll try that. Can I guest Dungeon Master? Uh, are you here, this person that asked this? Yeah. How would you do that? Improv. <laughs> uh, let me, we'll, we're going to put a pin in that. In the, in the realm of ideas of that quality, this person says, bring Adam Goldberg up. Oh, no. <laughs> I, I don't think there's any way he could be here, right? Uh, he, 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 He'll materialize. This would have been a. Yeah, you, it's like it's like Candyman. He's he, but historically he he's he's made his presence known already if he's here, right? Yeah. Oh, give something away at nine eleven. This person suggests that's a good idea. Okay. Can't, no, no, okay. <laughs> we auction him off at nine eleven. Uh, play uh, the, and the, 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 on the other side of the spectrum. This person saying play Jenga on nine eleven. That's yeah, 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 yeah. Bad person. You're a bad person. You hear that? Hear what you do to people when you think? Uh, <laughs> I just tuned in. What the hell is going on? <laughs> what, was the, what was the last movie you saw? Didn't you say Monuments Men? Well, I tried to watch a Nightcrawler. I kept falling asleep. I, 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 I was really into it, but I just very sleepy. I really want to finish watching Nightcrawler, but I keep, I, I keep falling asleep. Nightcrawler's awesome. You ever going to write a movie? We've talked about this before. Yeah, I, gotta, I just got I just gotta write a bad enough season of community <laughs> that, that they stop making me do more. Uh, and then I'm going to get right on those movies. I think you should write your 9/11 movie. Wait, what is this? A Dan Harmon potato shortage is now showing up as a trending hashtag next to Chevy Chase. Not really. Oh, sh- uh, just in Chicago. That makes sense. It's an improvised podcast. Probably... <laughs> uh, yeah, Chevy did the uh, SNL thing tonight. He made an appearance. I saw that on Twitter. Oh, yeah. And so did Eddie Murphy, who long has not appeared near SNL. Uh, Wasn't he kind of banned from it or something like that? Like, I think Lauren... it was more like... Wasn't he more? Was he banned or was he like the other way around? Like he wouldn't go. I don't know. Who knows? All right. Well, okay. That was Twitter interaction. Kind of hot, huh? I mean, it kind of works. Like, imagine if imagine if I didn't have to look at my phone. (laughs) That applause was so sad. (laughs) Um, I think that if we had like a little a little monitor down there. Mm-hmm. And then we could see it, and you, you, or you could curate it. You're the comptroller, right? And you, uh, all right. 
well, it is hot up here, so I might as well just. It just feels. I mean, it's like uh, somebody, somebody, somebody tweeted a picture. I know what I look like. It's, 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 it's a woman I love that married this. She has to. She has to, she has to look at this tonight after watching Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> oh, <wow. Yeah. laughs> better buy a lot of pizza. <laughs> All right. Have you ever done any bondage, uh, <laughs> sadomasochism stuff? Do you guys ever do like kinky shit? You guys, me and Aaron? Yeah. Or, no. or, or, or previous uh, gals? Or? I, when I was younger, I, because I thought you had to try everything, I, I tried all the, you know, I, 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 tr- I tried a little bit of tie, tying somebody, you know, down. I'm like, okay, now you're tied down. I mean, <laughs> I kind of, kind of felt like you were obligated to stay here before that. You know, I, like, social anxieties are more... <laughs> More, more pressing to me than like my dad's neckties. And um, were, and you, I, were you ever tied up? Did you, ever, did you ever get tied down? I think. Well, I think we took turns. This is when I was like young enough that I was like, "Well, let's do that." And then, I, I, and also like at one point, "Oh, let's get the food. Let's do the food." This is the dumbest. <laughs> you see people in the in the movies with the food, with What's the whipped the food? cream, and the. the, the yeah. and it's just like, why? This is sticky. It's gross. Yeah. yeah now, now, now it's more like hot dairy products. Yeah, so it's it's like, like, that's gross. Sex is pretty dumb. <laughs> I mean, the, the the people that enjoy it, like, they don't stop doing it. They, like, have to keep doing it, which is a good sign that it's dumb, right? <laughs> like, it's not it's not like they can do it for, like, and then, uh, oh, hey, Marissa. I didn't know you were in town. Yes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> strangest show. <laughs> It's Marissa. She does the uh, she 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 uh, hosts has has created the uh, the the having changed Tumblr blog, uh, which uh, has been up since since the start of this podcast, really, right? Because I made some comment about how there's no Tumblr blogs about me, and then you made one, and she's she's been in our corner ever since. She was at our wedding. Uh-huh. <laughs> So what other kind of food did you guys do? Do whipped whip cream? What else? I had whipped cream and chocolate sauce or some shit. Or I just remember whipped cream and like I think maybe honey. I can't remember. <laughs> uh, only thing I only thing I remember is it being like just dumb. Just being, it's like sex. You know, sex is something that you do with someone you love because you know the alternative is masturbating. <laughs> <laughs> Which is an exclusive act, an, an exclusionary. Uh, it's, a, it's a bad message to send. So you, you, you invite the other person in. Let's let's do this together. <sighs> and then every once in a while, a little. A, n- a new life is created by this act. That person germinates in the uterus. Is extracted from it. Placed on a stainless steel scale. Given a barcode. Sent home after several vaccinations. Which, oh. And then uh, 18 years later, he goes to work at Verizon. (laughs) And so does she. Ah, that special someone. And then they go. (laughs) And then Verizon keeps growing. It's a, it's a great species. It's really fun. 
I'm sure, I'm sure, sure Fifty Shades of Grey really put the magic back in it. Did you ever like dress up or do any like costumes or sh- shit like that? Dress up? Well, I mean, yeah, I, yeah, I guess. Uh, well, like not like a panda or anything. Like, like <laughs> I don't know. I mean, when you're I'm, I'm 42 years old, I've tried I've tried everything once. Somebody's bone conductor is turned off. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've tried everything once. Yeah? Yeah. Once. Gang bang? Not scat play. No, no, no. I, didn't, I haven't done pee and poop. and. Uh, yeah, the pee and the poo and the blood thing is not for me. I don't, I don't need any of that in my yeah. life. I mean, I haven't tried everything. everything yeah, that's, uh, that, that's silly for me to say. I've tried everything like a normal person. Like, like, like... <laughs> Consider like, like 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 this is like three things. Like, there's like nine hundred things I haven't tried. I haven't, I haven't put a toe in my butt. That's the. I, I, it's like, and you could do all ten toes, and that's ten things I haven't done. You put a sharpie up your butt. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I did. Oh, mask mask work. <laughs> uh, how are we, how are we gonna how are we gonna get through the t- tonight? How are we gonna how are we gonna do how are we gonna do a show? Are we warmed up yet? I'm I'm warm. My shaking has stopped. Oh, that's my post supervisor. He's canceling the uh, canceling post tomorrow. He's probably figured out I'm not gonna be editing. The, uh, yeah, I'll have to be writing. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, I'm on stage. Okay. There we go. Post super. Podcast gold. <laughs> <laughs> I, item. Do you guys have any Minecraft questions? What mod am I running? I'm running a mod pack called Feed the Beast Infinity. Um, it's available at feedthebeast.com. It's called the Infinity Mod Pack. It's brand new. It's for 1.7, and uh, it's uh, it's very stable. And uh, it has applied energistics too in it, which I've been looking forward to for a while, and I've just gotten on my feet with that, and I'm having a real good time. <laughs> it's a very balanced mod pack. Very balanced. Previous mod packs have done strange things, experimental things, like you, you have magical crops added, well now you can grow everything, like you don't even have to do anything else. This is a good mod pack. How many hours do you spend playing that? I was gonna say, what's the longest you've disappeared? Uh, I don't know, we, uh, I don't know. Well, I can't these days, I mean, I, maybe on the weekend, like I, I'll, I'll just sit uh, as long as my body will let me. I, 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 like if I, if it's not Valentine's Day and I like it's a weekend, I'll and I don't have something to write. I will I will get up and I'll grab the laptop and be like, "Her, Minecraft." <laughs> <sighs> All right, let's figure something out. Do you have any music on there that's like uh, not rap? Like, yeah, can I branch out. Yeah, let's try, um, let's, let's go, let's do this. When you move, move, move your body to the beat. When you see he, he, everybody in the street. You got the action the water we'll put them both in a cup with our daughter family family on the street with a bucket and a cup doing everything what's up family family on the street tonight with a bucket and a cup what's up bucket, bucket. yo 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 my name is mc john i'm here to mow the lawn I'd like to use a rake, but that grass will not take. I gotta get up on the riding mower. So faster, don't go slower. Mow around the trees and yard. I fucked your mama hard. I want to see you next day night. I don't want to.
to get into a fight. Yeah, don't get in a fight, baby. Cause you are my family and I love you. Say what? I won't steal your socks or your shoes. Family. Cause you got what I need. Family. Yeah, it's good. That was a good one. That's a I, good song. I like the, the fascinating character of DJ, DJ John. <laughs> I'm here to mow the lawn. <laughs> DJ John was DJ John was a refreshing departure from the from the profane evolution of rap. He was back to like a traditional like peas and carrots kind of rap. But he right at the end he he, he let you know he's fucking your mom. Which makes sense because he uh, listening to him, he I don't think he knew that much about lawn care. He he was he wanted that's, to use a rake. That's a MacGuffin. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> who 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 wrote the, some of this music? Do we that, have to give credit to these that people? That is um, by Kevin McLeod. There's some guy. Remember, that... Kevin, if you call my name. <laughs> Are you Highlander references? Yeah. Right now? Yes. <laughs> Kevin McLeod. <laughs> Don't forget, Kevin. We're from an alien planet. What? <laughs> Highlander two. <laughs> Fucked up. <laughs> Fucked up sequel. They reveal at the beginning of Highlander 2 that all of the things that happened in Highlander 1 <laughs> were <laughs> in a different framework. They were aliens. They just, they just forgot that they were aliens. Really dumb. And then they remember. And then the Sean Connery says, remember, don't, also don't forget that you, if you call my name, I'll come back to life. So he does. And the Sean Connery comes back to life. But Sean Connery spends the entire movie buying clothes. <laughs> All right, what other songs you got in there? I was away, so I didn't add a whole lot of stuff there. What about... Uh, it's only 23 seconds. This has to be short. All right. Oh, wait, 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 wait. From the top. Okay. From the top. <clears throat> I got a pair of boots and a pair of socks going to... Uh, uh, wait, hold on. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. All right, I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. <laughs> I got some corn syrup on my hat. I'm going out. How about that? Going to grab some corn. Going to grab some hay. Fuck your mama all the live long day. I've got a banjo on my knee. All right. Uh, uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Oh, oh yeah. 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 About time. It's about time. It's about that time. Wait, what time is it? It's about that time. I have a slow watch. I want to know what time it is. Could you tell me what time it is? I got an appointment coming up tomorrow. Yeah. We've been having a sweet old time, but I gotta know what time it is. Timekeeper, timekeeper's like a Swiss clock tonight. We've been going low, long data to the break of the dong dong, baby. <laughs> Yo. What'd you say? <laughs> no, don't fuck with me. <laughs> I'm just trying to know what you're saying. Don't, I'm not even trying to play it. Just gotta know what time it is. Ding dong, ding baloo, ding doom, ding dong. See, that's gibberish. I don't know why I work with you. Fuck you, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you, fuck you. Why are you all fighting? <laughs> oh shit. It's my mom. Ding ding a boom dong ding. Why are you 
all down here fighting, sitting in my basement all night. And what time is it? That's what I'm asking. Ding dong, dig a loo, dang dong. I set the grandfather clock on the wall. I'm not getting any sleep at all. Your father and I got work in the morning. Ding ding a boom dong ding ding morning. That's cheating. <laughs> Can't you speak gibberish, man? Dibby dop doop dibop do. Ah shit. I'm going to bed. Baby, <laughs> <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Those kids down in the basement. Oh, why are they always gonna be like that? Why are they always waking up like that? Don't these motherfuckers get any sleep? I don't know, baby. W- what time you keep? Quarter to three. <laughs> uh, the, the, dad, the dad knew. The dad knew what time it was. The whole time. Thanks, guys. Thanks. I was, I, that was really nice. I was kind of hoping DJ John made an appearance. <laughs> <laughs> There's a whole, but I mean, I'm like, I'm like. Uh, yeah, this is like a whole like Sesame Street of characters you've got going on. Yeah. <laughs> I think we should explore that town a little bit more. I, I'd like to know everybody that lives in that building, <laughs> the whole block. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> All right, well, what else you got? None of them, none of them knew what time it was. <laughs> <laughs> what was their, uh, are they brothers or were they fr- best friends? They're friends and they're in the basement and the mom was coming down and then she went back up to her husband. I think there was something going on between the mom and the friend. <clears throat> well. This feels like cold open, like crawl music, maybe. Like, uh, Vincent Price? In the age of innocence, <laughs> there is a prophecy that one will come who will change the innocence to guilt. The keepers of this prophecy are called the Star Walkers. Star Walkers. <laughs> Reclusive by nature, they keep to a hallowed hall atop the trees. <laughs> of Wisconsin. We join them now at s- breakfast. <laughs> Do you want more eggs? <laughs> <laughs> Starwalker. I have not satiated my taste for eggs. I would like another egg. I will make you one more egg. The time keepers walk skywalkers sir <laughs> What were they called? Star walkers Star walkers <laughs> See eggs as the center of all power All power Here is yours I scrambled it I tried to make it sunny side up then it became scrambled <laughs> Let me put my hand to it and draw from it its essence with my mind. Since the beginning of time, <laughs> the Sky Guardians, what were they called? Star Walkers. Star Walkers. <laughs> have derived their nutrition manually. 
preferring to save the mouth for verbal communication. What say you of the prophecy? There will be three leaves in this tree. All three will fall. Only one will land. <laughs> Father, you're up early. <laughs> there is a man on the lawn. He's got a rake. <laughs> he just seems to sort of be fiddling around out there. Be calm, my young one. I will, I will see what this is about. Tending the lawn? Yes. My name is John. I'd prefer a rake. <laughs> if that's what it take. But I mow the grass like your mama ass. <laughs> your mama's ass. <laughs> My name is John. Mom fucker. <laughs> I'm here to say <laughs> I fucked so many moms today. <laughs> Fucked them in the east. The east. I fucked them in the south. Three hours later, in the mouth. <laughs> I have never heard of this practice. I am a star walker. walker. Well, I'm coming up. You're not supposed to. I'm coming up. You get, get off the ladder. Give me that. Give me the bucket of lava. He's not slowing down. He's, he's a skeleton. He's a flaming skeleton. My name is John. Run, run to the panic room. Does it does it work? Did they fix it? Get in get in the panic room. Ah! <laughs> Jesus. This is a difficult sort. And you said no panic room. You said you said let's go to Cancun. <laughs> Turn that money into fun, you said. <laughs> One person in this treetop thinks about our safety. The prophecy said three leaves would fall. We three should jump and leave him here. <laughs> <laughs> I, okay. I fear only one of us will make it. And so it is I take this time to say goodbye. You're going out the window of the panic room? <laughs> 
The ill-advised window. <laughs> the ill-advised <laughs> panic room window. I wanted to see. <laughs> you, you guys don't even lock that window. It, was, it, was, it defeats the whole point of having a panic room. The, the, ah, who's the, your <laughs> father? It's me. Don't be. Don't be alarmed. Oh. <laughs> the panic room needs sunlight. You said. Fine. Great. All right. So the three of us jump. <laughs> All right. It is said in the Skywalker tradition, Sky, Star Sky, Walker. Starwalker, <laughs> that one need not fear death, for death is only the beginning. But that day, as my toes perched on the wooden sill of my panic room window, <laughs> arms outstretched like a bold but fearful crane, I tasted what God must have felt the day he gave us life, the fear that it was all for nothing. Nothing. Well, my name is John. I was a skeleton all along. I wanted to take over the house. Now I got it all to myself. I got a rake over here and a shovel over there. I can do long care all day. I don't even have to rhyme anymore. I'm just Big Bad John and I got my own home. I'm gonna sit down on the couch. Gonna make myself at home. I'm a burnt skeleton because they poured lava on me. This is what I deserve. My name is John. My name is John. I'm walking all live long day. Hop, hop, to the hip, to the hop, hop, hip, to the hop, hop, hip, hop. My name is John. I do your lawn, but I don't take no shit today. Hip, hop, to the hip, to hop. I said a hop, hop, hip, to hop, a bit, hop, hop. Did you ever see a White House with a president in it? Fuck that, motherfucker. I'll fuck the government. Fuck your government. My name is John. Big bad John all day long. Take care of your lawn. Ding dong, ding dong. I take your daisies down to a regular town and I sell them at the bazaar. I drive back in my car. It's powered by the sun. Green energy. Fuck the president. My name is John. All day long. Oh. Father, are you okay? Oh, no! My back is broken. Would you perhaps like some eggs? Uh, oh, how am I the only one that got hurt? I walked down. There's a... What? There's a... Uh, stairs? No, J- John was just on the couch rapping. He didn't even see me. <laughs> He was getting really irritable about the government. It was kind of like... <laughs> Father, I'll go, to the, I'll go to the medicine tree. Did any of you ever think that we've done all we've done for nothing? Yes. But one must understand that it is all a process of becoming... Whether you are in a panic wind, panic room window, panicking. Whether you are in the air flying and dying and landing. And whether you're the clever sun cascading down a flight of stairs made more stable by lava that has now ceased to be lava and is merely igneous. Father, father, and substantial. father, uh, uh, Uncle Rico. Sorry to interrupt. I'm getting a reading on the radar. <laughs> It yes. appears to be some sort of spacecraft coming inbound. It is the elders. Ha ha ho! How the mighty have fallen! 
Expecting to see an elder? It's me, Tom Young. <laughs> Too fat from living in your trees, living your dreams. Did a rap ring lawn man make you fall? I told you there was war in this universe and you refused to heed my call. Now you lay on the floor with the rest of the animals, clutching at your broken back, waiting for medicine trees. <laughs> the medicine has gone to the front. Gird your loins and join the war or perish here! <laughs> Fuck! God damn it! That was, that was, it was just a cameo, I guess. <laughs> Is he coming back, Father? Oh! <laughs> well, what have we here? The elders struck down like animals from their pride atop the treetops. <laughs> Wasn't so long ago you refused us food and weapons for our war. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ, everyone hated us. <laughs> Worm people. <laughs> Worm people detect elders. <laughs> How you've been stricken down <laughs> to worm level. You should have helped us with our war. Oh, sorry. Wait, well, this is w Worm people theme. Oh. <clears throat> underground. Underground. Where the water's found. Moisture. Moisture. Nutrients. Nutrients. Where did they went? Have to find those nutrients before the rain drives us up. We're looking for nodes My on mucus legumes. membrane protects my outer shell. I wriggle around. I do very well. I am a worm. And my worm culture will prevail. <laughs> to talk. Uh, the worm rapper. I'm a ra 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 rapper. I'm a rapper, rapper, rapping worm. Watch me squirm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. So, stop. No, I told, what did I tell you? Stop. You're bad rapper. Rapper. Go, go practice. <laughs> Sun comes up, moon goes down. Everyone has worms around. We are everywhere. Our worm culture will prevail. Move through the dirt. Rumors I heard. Worm armies must mount for our defense. Worm swords, worm shields, worm horses never yield. These worm colors never run. Mucus in the sun. I will never fail my wormy queen until she kisses with this machine. I'm, my name is Little Worm Tony. I've, no, get out. <laughs> Worm people, worm people, worm people, dwelling in the dirt that we make up. Did you know that 90% of the dirt worms live in is made up of dead worms? Yes, I did. <laughs> this may sound gross to you above the soil line, but down here, that shit do me fine. Worm people out. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> this is a terrible, terrible opera. <laughs> are, are these characters going to come back? or? Father, I, I feel like the Star Walkers used to be a proud, a, a proud culture, but it seems like everybody kind of hates our guts. Uh, we've, we've, we've let a lot of people down. Wisdom brings its... Labor. And there is a small place in the world for ponderous people who look at eggs and muse about the future. Father, I'm getting another reading. <laughs> I 
think it's that asshole Tom Young's coming back. <laughs> He's got two Russians with him. <laughs> it's me, Tom Young. <laughs> and here's my Russian friend. Hello. Is this what you wanted? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not trying. I don't want to be difficult, but <clears throat> I don't. What do you? What, what, what was the idea? It was a callback to the potato guys. Yeah. 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 Throw, throw, a, throw a road flare in the gas tank. <laughs> Shit! Run! Ah, oh, my back! Ah, oh, I'm dying! I died! <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Oh, it's Jesus of the Elders. Get out. Ah, tree hell. Whoa, the gasoline. It's filled with gas. Run. Shit, run. Jump off the edge of the earth. We're becoming a singularity. We're in the nether zone. Oh, shit, it's the devil. Ah. Oh, he's shitting on us! Oh, I'm drowning in his shit! Ow! <laughs> Whole universe exploded! My name is John. I voted for that to happen from the president. Fuck the president. My name is John. I mow your lawn. I'd like to do it with, with all your lawn. I'd like to do it with a rake, but that's all I can take. My name is John. I'm on your lawn. Hip hop to the hip of the hop. A hip hop hop. Yo, did you ever see a vampire quite like me? Oh shit, it's a Dracula. Hippity hop, ha 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 ha. Oh shit, vampire bat. I'm running away from that. I'm a vampire gonna bite your neck. Oh shit, fuck you, my name is Beck. Bing bong, bing bong, bing bing bong, bong. What? Your, your name is Beck? Father, look, it's, Vin it, it's Vincent Price. Oh, yes. Spiders crawling on every part of your genitals with little pink socks on each of their eight feet so that it feels good like little fairy tongues. That's not scary. My name is John. It's Halloween. I'm going to the party scene. A trick or treat, trick or that. I fucked your mom like that. My name is John. I take care of all your lawns. I mow every grass in every city. I mowed your mama's titty. She enjoyed it. A secret. I'm a lion. <laughs> Running through the forest. Gotta get past this. Find my quarry. In the quarry, I kill a rabbit. Take it back to the lady. Whoa. Sorry about that. Say what? Family! Family! You have got to have a family Or you get bit by a bat And turned into a lion like that That was a cautionary tale John fell You shouldn't be him like him Thanks for coming to Harmontown, everybody! Demorge Brown! Um, Skull Headphone Guy, his name I forget. Angel and Laura, was it? I'm Jeff Davis, your mayor, your shirtless mayor, Mr. Dan Harmon. Hip-hop, hibbity-hop. 
I don't stop till the hippity hop. I got a hip hip hop and I never stop until the hip hip hop to the dippity dop. I got it. My name is MC John. I mow your lawn all day long. My name is Hippity John. I got a jip job, jimmy job, a jip hop. I like to use a rake, a shovel, if that's what it takes. But I prefer to use a lawn mower. I fuck your mom shower, not a girl. Well, I'm Big John and I'm on your lawn. I got to mow, mow, lawn all day long. I got a hip hop, hippity hop. I did the hip hop, hip hip hoppity hip hop. I hip hip hoppity hip. Hop, 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 dippity dip. Got a hip hop, never stop. My name is John. Good night, everybody. Good luck. We got a hip hop on it all day long. All day long, sing my song. I got a hip hop, hippity hop. I got a hip hip hop, got a hippity hop. My name is Backyard John. I'm on your fucking lawn. I got a hip hop, bow in the lawn. Everybody gonna sing my song. Hip hop, hippity hop. Everybody eat some dipping dots. Happy birthday, Zach. Happy birthday. Hip hop, gonna hip it hop. Oh. Did you get any of that? It's a good show.